What's happening inside the brain after a concussion? Why are you experiencing those symptoms? Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Heisig, I'm a naturopathic physician and a concussion specialist. And this is a question that sometimes people ask is like, what actually happened? I, my CT was clean. My doctor said I should just go home and rest. Like, why do I feel this way? So if we were to explain that kind of step by step, what happens is your head gets hit. Um, whether that's in a car accident, you get this acceleration deceleration, whether you're a hockey player and take an open ice hit, whether you're a football player and kind of get hit to the top of the head on the line, um, or you get thrown into the turf, uh, something happens that causes your brain to accelerate and decelerate. And you have white matter and gray matter in your brain that are different densities. So during that acceleration deceleration, they move at different rates and they stretch and they shear. But they don't tear and they don't bruise and your brain actually isn't structurally overtly pathologically damaged it's a functional injury so you get this acceleration deceleration stretch and shear and as you stretch and shear you let electrolytes go everywhere you don't mean to it's not your fault but electrolytes go everywhere and you get this excitatory excitotoxicity so nerves just fire indiscriminately and that's when you're feeling disoriented that's when you're ataxic that's when you're seeing stars that's when your bell gets rung um, that's when in less than 10 percent of cases you pass out um, so that's kind of this excitatory phase. So you accelerate, decelerate, nerve stretch and shear, electrolytes go everywhere. You're kind of just beep, 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 having this electrolyte party and you feel kind of, whoa, you, you feel out of it. After that, you've got to put those electrolytes back. That electrolyte party doesn't happen for free. So your brain's got to restore that electrochemical gradient across the nerves um, to restore normal firing within your brain. And to get all that back takes a ton of energy and your brain energy levels will dip by about 20% after, after a concussion. So you have the head injury and your brain energy levels start to dip as you're cleaning up that injury, as you're cleaning up that electrolyte party. And your brain energy levels will dip to their lowest about three to five days after your injury. And that's typically when you're gonna feel your worst. So if you got hit on a Friday, you're typically gonna feel your worst like Monday or Tuesday and then you'll slowly start to feel better. So symptoms typically resolve within about five to 10 days for most people. But uh, part of that electrolyte party was calcium firing everywhere to release glutamate and that's kind of the excitotoxicity. Well, calcium has a big affinity for the powerhouse of your cell if you remember high school biology, um, the powerhouse of the cell, the mitochondria. Calcium has a big affinity for it. So it actually floods your mitochondria and impairs their ability to produce energy to oxidatively phosphorylate ATP. Um, and so what we've got is <clears throat> this energy deficit because we need to bring the electrolytes back. And to replenish energy, we can't do it as well because our mitochondria are flooded with calcium. So what we see is that energy levels dip in three to five days. You might feel better in five to 10, but you're not fully recovered yet because it takes about 22 to 45 days for energy metabolism to return to normal in the brain. Um, so that's kind of what we're seeing. That's kind of what's going on under the hood when you see Patrick Mahomes go down, when you see Sidney Crosby, Jonathan Taze go down, when you see uh, a boxer go down and they're kind of dazed or they like keep fighting or they go into a fencing response. What's happening is their brain stretched, it sheared and it allowed electrolytes to go everywhere. And that's when you see the like, whoa, kind of whatever is going on in their brain. Um, and then after the fact, that kind of crappy feeling, that fatigue sets in, that's because your brain is actually losing about 20% of its energy levels. Um, and it takes about three to six weeks to return back to normal, which is why you wanna engage in active rehab, get your nutrition in line, start doing visual vestibular rehab, take care of your neck in those three to four weeks so that you can, you can return in three to four weeks if you're an athlete. Um, so if this was helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you wanna learn more about concussion and PCS, go ahead and give my account a follow. Thank